We have just test driven the iPACE, now we're going to test drive Jaguar iPACE and Land Rover apps. Hello and welcome to an overview of Jaguar apps. I'm also going to introduce you to a few useful websites. So I'm going to do this demonstration on my Windows 10 PC. And because the mobile apps that I'm going to demonstrate to you are designed for a mobile phone, and some of them will work on a tablet, I'm going to use a emulator called Bluestacks. If I click on any of the icons that are Jaguar apps on my desktop, I've underlined them in red, they will open in Bluestacks. One of the apps I'm going to show you today is the Jaguar iGuide. Now the iGuide is a useful app, but trying to read it on a mobile phone is quite difficult. I find using a bigger screen more advantageous. So I'm going to show you how to get the same information from a website where you can read it on your computer screen at your leisure. So I'm going to go into Google and on the toolbar I have a shortcut to this website. I'll leave you a link to this in the description and if I click on that link it takes me to this website and on this website you'll find everything you need to know and want to know about the iPACE. It's easy to access and it's easy to read on a big screen. Now while we're in Google I'm going to show you another website. There's no difference between many of the Land Rover programs and apps and many of the Jaguar programs and apps and I'm going to use my Land Rover in control link to take me into my Land Rover portal. Each journey is logged it gives me information on the distance I've travelled, the duration of time it took me to travel, the average speed and it gives me my miles per gallon. All new Land Rovers and Jaguars have this system but they also have an in control mobile app that gives you more functionality. I have the Jaguar in control remote app installed here on my desktop but I'm going to show you how it works with my Land Rover in control remote app. I'm clicking on the desktop icon. As you can see I'm receiving the same information that I received from the Land Rover portal but with this app I can do much more. I can if this was a cell phone check the car's range look for dashboard alerts, locate your vehicle on a map and get walking directions to it, check if you have left any windows or doors open, download journey information in the event of a breakdown request Jaguar assistance and start the engine. The Jaguar and Land Rover in control app are the same but the iPACE version has differences it can allow you to charge the iPACE at a predetermined time for off-peak charging reducing costs and precondition the iPACE heating or cooling it as required. The next app we're going to look at is the iGuide. The iGuide is very similar to what we already looked at on Google search. It gives you the same information but the difference is if it's on your mobile device and you've downloaded the manual, you can view this information anywhere. Quickly moving on to the Jaguar Route Planner app, I test drove the iPACE for three days thanks to Kentdale Jaguar Cumbria. I own a Land Rover Discovery Sport, but I need to log on as the iPACE owner to use this app, so I was unable to test this app for you. But I did my research. This app is to be used in conjunction with Jaguar vehicles which are fitted with the next generation 
infotainment system in control touch pro the jaguar route planning app allows you to navigate from door to door before setting out from your home set your destination from your smartphone and you'll be directed to your jaguar as the app detects your vehicle's location the smartphone app will then automatically sync your jaguar navigation system using the cloud so your car will be ready to take over navigation as soon as you get in the next jaguar app we're going to look at is a go ipace app this app i actually loaded onto my android tablet and i used it over a period of time the go ipace app works on mobile phones some of its functions work on the pc i also have it loaded on an android tablet that has gps function and that is what i'm going to show you now go ipace automatically tracks your journeys to show you how ipace would fit into your life it gives you facts and figures as if you were actually driving the all-electric jaguar ipace including journey maps projected battery range and usage available charging points and estimated cost savings and the frequently asked question section is very interesting this jaguar in control app enables you to use vehicle optimized smartphone apps on your vehicle touchscreen by connecting your smartphone via a usb cable to the dedicated in control app usb port once connected the app on your vehicle touchscreen have the same look and feel as they do on your smartphone. The Jaguar Public Charging app is another app I didn't need to use on my test drive because I charge the iPads from my home electric supply using a three pin plug. This app allows you to use a public charging network. It allows you to start and stop charging sessions, tells you the charging speed and informs you if the charger is occupied or available. To use the app, you need a PlugSurfing account. We will look at that app next. PlugSurf gives you access to thousands of charging points all over Europe. It gives you current and accurate pricing. You can filter your searches by plug type and you pay monthly by credit card or PayPal. PlugSurf has a website and so has the next app called PlugShare. We'll look at both websites shortly. On our IPIS test drive, we used a standard 13 amp socket at our home address to charge the car. If we owned an electric car, we would install a charging point that would speed the charging process. But if we were traveling to the other end of the country, we would need to find a public charging station. This is where PlugSurf and PlugShare come in. So let's look at what information we can find on the PlugShare app and the PlugShare and PlugSurf websites. People who use the PlugShare app can write reviews and leave comments, take photos and help other PlugShare customers understand what facilities are available like here at the Rusland Pool Hotel. The app tells us there's a Type 2 charging station that's free to hotel residents. And somebody has taken a picture of the charging station for everybody's information. Well, that's the PlugShare app. But now I'm going to go into Google where I've searched and found the PlugShare website. On the left hand side of the web page, we have 11 different types of plug socket we can use with the IPs four of them that's the type 2 the CCS stroke SAE and the caravan mains and the wall socket so what we basically have is a filter so I'm going to click on the caravan main socket and it will filter out everything except that type of socket if I click on one of the icons, I'm brought into Butterfield Holiday Park at Haverick. And if I click on the picture, it shows me what the adapter actually looks like. The adapter simply turns a caravan extension plug 
back into a three pinned plug. I'm going to uncheck that filter then move across to the type 2 plug. I've chosen to click on an icon in Ulverston and it's telling me that in Brewery Street Car Park there is a type 2 charger. And again there's pictures of the charging station and information on this parking space. Now I'm going to remove the type 2 filter and I'm going to use the CCS filter. These charging stations are the fast charging stations. They deliver more power to the battery and so charge the car in less time. Returning to the filter screen I'm going to uncheck the CCS filter and I'm going to come down to the standard wall plug. And at Otters Town Holiday Cottages you have the facility to use a standard wall socket to charge your iPace. If you haven't worked it out yet this means you can basically charge the car almost anywhere. As I mentioned before the final website we're going to look at is plug surfing. If you remember the Jaguar charging app uses plug surfing to allow you to connect to thousands of charging stations in the UK and Europe. You use your mobile phone or near field communication card or tag to pay for your electricity. Unfortunately our test drive came to an end. But for more information on this electric car use the YouTube end annotation links. Top left understand the Formula One inspired regenerating braking system. Top right, iPace facts. Bottom right, test drive iPace with us as we carry out an in-depth review. And bottom left, we give you an assessment of the electric costs and information on the practicalities of going electric.